March 13th, 2008, from Atlanta. Hi, I'm Brad Fallon. Welcome to the free line. First up, the popular free file backup based on Gmail, it's called G-Archiver. Well, it's been found storing users' Gmail passwords. The creator of G-Archiver claimed it was only debugging code that he'd left in there by accident, and he's taken down the application so no one else can download it. But it is suggested that if you've used G-Archiver in the past, you might want to change your password as soon as possible. The nonprofit organization Takes All Types has worked together with the Red Cross to create a Facebook application to report on blood shortages. So if you're a blood donor and you want to participate, just install the application, give it your blood type and address, and it will notify you when there's a shortage of your blood type in your area. Awesome. Well, MySpace is talking with major music labels to start MySpace Music. So far, it has support of some major music companies, but not the largest, Universal. They plan on going ahead without Universal support, hoping they can get it later. And MyLoki is a new web service from the folks who brought us Skyhook. That's the nifty little application that gets your GPS coordinates for your iPhone. MyLoki is a free toolbar for your web browser. So if you're near a wireless hotspot, it simply triangulates your location and then gives you a map that you can embed on your blog, giving everyone your location in real time. Why you'd want to do this, I'm not certain. I'm sure soon they'll be offering a backup archive service, so it'll archive every place you've ever been and how long you've been there. And Dropbox officially moves into private beta this week. They're giving out five gigs of free storage. Dropbox is an easy to use application to back up your files across the web and share them with coworkers. Or you can just access them from anywhere you have internet access. The real benefit of Dropbox is its ease of use. A simple right click on the file and you can share it or back it up. Until next time for the free line, I'm Brad Fallon. For web 2.0 news you can use in 2.0 minutes, visit freelinereport.com.